right, we are here at my tiny worm bin, and it has been nine days since our last feeding. This is feeding number 12, and we're gonna jump in here and see what we got. It's a little dry on top, but that's to be expected. Um, now, the last feeding, again, nine days ago, 94 days since we started this, if you can believe that. Um, the last feeding seems to be all eaten. And I think the last video is when we said that we were at the 50-50 mark for castings. And I still agree with that assessment. Here's a big fat guy at the top. Hopefully you can see that. Right there where my thumb is. Another guy over here. But really happy with this worm bin. There's no pooling of water on the bottom, which is good. I, I was in here earlier, not digging around, but just kind of looking at the top and I saw um, cocoons. So they are reproducing and I think I might be able to show you one right here if I can get it without it dropping. On the very top of that little pile right there is a cocoon. So that is a fantastic sign that we are, we are reproducing in here. And if I'm finding one cocoon, you know, I don't know what factor to multiply it by, but there are more cocoons in here. So from the 50 to 100 that I guesstimate I started with, which is just absurdly low amount of worms, um, they, the population is going to increase. There's a little guy. I see some movement throughout, so let's see if there's any in here. Yep, there's one guy right there. Moving around a little bit. But yeah, from that small population, we are we are getting more worms, and certainly in the center part, there is. That's, that's where they're all at. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, all kinds of different sizes. This is great. That means that, you know, some of these may have hatched a month ago or so. So we've got a cycle of life going on in here, which is, which is just perfect. That's what I'm looking for. That's what you're looking for in your populations is that they are at least sustaining, maintaining, growing is better. You know, and who knows what the what the carrying capacity, I think that might be the right word for how many worms can be in here. Certainly it matters how much bedding and how full the, the bin is, but I'm just going to kind of continue to turn over here as I'm talking. Um, just loving seeing these guys. <laughs> Compared to my other videos, it seems absurd how excited I get on one or two worms, but again, this is a tiny experimental worm bin from a vermicomposting class that I attended where they barely gave me any worms, and this bin is tiny. I mean, boom, boom, it's it's tiny. It's a very small bin. Um, I'm, I'm, if I were to start a bin right now, it would be bigger than this for certain, and it would start with at least 2,000 worms, 1,000 to 2,000. So the fact that this thing is going is just kind of amazing to me that 94 days later, here we are with all these castings. Nothing I can sift through or anything like that, but compared to just the, the raw office paper that they had put in here. Um, to me, it's impressive. Get a little worm going on the side here. But let's go ahead and spread this out. I've played with this enough. And we'll put a feeding in here. And I think I'm either gonna have to make sure that I hit this thing every seven days or I need to feed them more. I think I wanna try and get better with uh, every seven days. It was nine since I did this, but I, I like the every seven days because then I'm in here more. I can see if things are changing, if I need to do something different, which I really haven't other than deciding how much more food to put in here or not. Put in some more bedding again. 
It's, you never seem to have enough bedding, which is good. And then we'll put in the food. This is just some of the leftover, very liquidy, um, chopped up food from the waste from our family eating and stuff, apples and some pieces of lettuce and celery, that kind of thing. Just, uh, just put it in this Tupperware and throw it in the freezer and use it when I need it. I am probably not gonna put all this liquid in here. And I'm definitely gonna need to come in here within a week because this, I thought I had a little bit more food to give them. That's not quite as much as I would have liked, but still more than I gave in the last feeding, I think. And we'll make sure they get some good amount of coffee here. Coffee and tea grounds, used coffee and tea grounds. But this bin is doing great. Doing really well. I love seeing that cocoon in there. I had seen one before. I'm glad I got it on camera. So if I'm seeing one just based on that, there's there's definitely a lot more in here. So that'll about do it for our feeding. I'm just going to cover it up. And that will about do it. I'll, I'll come in here, take the lid off. I won't dig around. I, don't, I, I try not to dig around. Um, but I'll come in here and kind of check the moisture level. And I think what I may do is put a piece of newspaper in here after I'm done with this video. Maybe just to have a top layer. Um, some really good suggestions from different commenters on how to, um, you know, can keep the moisture in here. And also the fact that it dries out on the top doesn't mean that it's not moist in the bottom because that was certainly the case in this. So nothing too much to worry about. But I'll think, I think I'll put a piece of paper, uh, newspaper over the top of this. Um, from here on out. But that's going to do it for the uh, this feeding of the tidy worm bin. Hope everybody's vermicomposting bins are doing well and have a great day. Take care now.